Welcome back to Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. Last time... <sighs> last time I killed off Lizbeth Covenant, the Queen of the Howlers. Look at that. Oh, I get it. I think I have to use haste here. I loaded the game back from before I opened the door, just to make sure that I had the, uh... Well, let's just make sure. <gasps> just to make sure that I had the amplifier and the, uh, health kit. a ladder? This, wow, this texture is really bad. I'm close. It is! You know what? to hold down uh, the buton. Oh. oh, fuck's sake, really? Eat a dick. We'll save over there this time. <gasps> oh, that was not... <laughs> okay, that one was on me. I cast the wrong spell. At least you can see really clearly all the way to the bottom. Oh, it did. Fuck. Ahem! Hooray! Hooray! You can just imagine how tricky the Olympics will become. Oh. When people have to check for performance enhancing magic. I sure do die a lot. There! <gasps> yeah, the hell was that? <gasps> and that didn't work, so why didn't I get any extra distance on that one when I had haste? <gasps> oh look, there's no bottom to that cliff. It just floats in the air. Like that Oneros place that came up once and so far hasn't had any uh, actual impact on anything. <gasps> Fuck you. Jumped to the last possible second there. That's why I was looking down to make sure. Now, when I do that, the whole screen gets a washed out effect. Like everything turns gray. You know, like, uh. Like his heart's pounding so fast that, uh. He's, uh. starting to white out. Oh. Hello? Embarrassing! I'm just pissed because I killed his queen. Oh, no. No! Give me strength. Oh no, I never have to do that again.
Hello there. I'm going to kill you. That went a lot better, I think. No, because he ended up dead, and I didn't. Uh -huh. Oh, they are actually chasing me. I really wish they would uh, have some difference between bats that don't give a shit about you and bats that want to eat you. Or failing that, make all of them one or the other. Can't believe I made it out of there. Better head back to the mainland. Uh. Fair enough. Scripting straight back to the Covenant Estate. Let's put this thing away. I found so much shit since I was last here. Now, speaking of that on Arrow's place, I mean, it may not have come up again, but... I haven't really been using this thing. I don't know why. I mean, it's not... I mean, maybe it's... It's a mortar-style weapon. Why is that happening? Something was watching me. What? Outside, in the shrubbery. All I know is Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. And he's going to die. Get him now! Look alive, he's here! Anything. Fuck. Panicked again. You're not even worth the effort. So the shotgun guys slit their throats when you uh, use invoke on them. Lock. That's why I can't just go in. I feel bad. I mean, look how awesome this thing looks. It's the fucking Tibetan war cannon, for God's sakes. But here I am lugging around a sawed off. Something was watching me. What? Outside, in the shrubbery. All I know is Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. Get him now! Look alive, he's here! Ambrose note. My Tersanti brothers. Oh, those were those guys. The stranger must be stopped. Beware, he has skill. Remember the advice of the master in the east. Hence that general is skillful in attack, whose opponent does not know what to defend. And he is skillful in defense, whose opponent does not know what to attack. When the stranger is dead, return to me in the pirate's cove. Ambrose. I was wondering about that. 
because Lizbeth made several personal appearances and Aaron is a ghost we hadn't seen hide nor hair to indicate that Bethany or Ambrose had come back to life All right, let's do this. <gasps> ah. Come on out. Really? Nothing? Nothing at all? Nothing even invisible? We've been talking about this, the Tresanti when he said that uh, something was watching him, right? <gasps> hmm. I don't remember this path over here from before. Oh no, it was closed. That's some kind of greenhouse. Oh. Hello. What's inside the building? The old greenhouse, you mean? No one's been in there for ages. When Bethany was young, she used to be quite the gardener. Thank you. I saw that. Okay. Plants. Murderous plants. Hmm. Nope, nope, too dangerous to getting close. Although you know what plants don't like? Frost. Amplify this thing because it kind of sucks. I'll get the angle right eventually. this the old-fashioned way. By shooting it to death. Moving more slowly for some reason. Whatever they hit you with, it slows you down. Oh, hey, there's a thought. There's a note in the floor there. I need to go in here. Lore! Yeah, I had a feeling that would work even better. Oh! I don't think that makes any sense, but thanks. Mmm, delicious. Try to hit me, huh? Huh? I finally did it. I silenced Aaron. He will no longer belittle me or interfere with my research. 
This has released a great weight from my mind and allows me to pursue my studies in the st silence of our ancestral home. As a memento, I have taken my dear brother's jaw. That source of constant ridicule will never again taunt me. His sway over me is broken. Unfortunately, I do not think he felt a thing. The fool was so deep in his stupor, he no doubt thought me a dream. It would seem that I am the last of the covenants. Since Aaron no longer troubles me, or himself for that matter, I find myself all alone. Jeremiah has not been heard from since he left for the war. It is better this way. I will now be able to com complete what, he, what was started so many years ago in the Isle. It took well over twenty years for us to accept what he had done. I will be the one to finish the task and accept the legacy of this family. Bethany. The note is called Aaron's Jaw. Want to be the case. Oh, I do like the way those things instantly drop dead when you. Oh, it's the fire making that noise. Or not. Good old-fashioned buckshot for the living. Not even curious? Not what all the noise was? No, I guess you learn not to ask questions in this fucking place, huh? So not only was she some kind of witch, Bethany murdered Aaron, her twin brother. That's fucked up. Hmm. There's an amplifier down there. Man, I had no idea. I wasn't even sure that was water. Oh, yeah. Huh. Could have sworn I spent some, uh, spent. I used some bullets on the, uh, plant monsters. You know, it occurs to me that given that they're mostly comprised of vines, they would actually be more apt to be called creepers than, uh, the explodey guys from Minecraft. Won't budge. I think that was the exact same attack that happened before. Jammed.
Ah! Ow, ow! Fucking called it! Like a zillion episodes ago. Ow. And we've got poltergeists. Great. Great. This is awesome. This is exactly what I needed. I almost have 30 health kits. That's as many as, uh, three tens. And that's awesome. I don't actually know which way I'm meant to go here. I guess we'll explore in the next episode of Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. One of the Covenant siblings has been laid to rest. This mystery is far from over. We've just heard that, uh... Ambrose is up and kicking again. And even if she's not back, Clearly, some of Bethany's little critters are, uh, still hanging around. Oh boy, Patrick's got a lot to deal with. See you next time, folks.